broadcasted every show but two since the show has been on the air he is more of the voice of that show than a guy who has taken had to take oh, significant man. periods of time off from the other show I'm not saying Michael Cole's a better announcer no that's not what I said I said Michael Cole is more easily identifiable with Smackdown than Jim Ross is with Raw. Jim you know Ross you know what? is more identifiable with WWE no, you know what? with great wrestling announcing but Cole the Smackdown is more identifiable. And what is Jim Ross? Move. Jim Ross is raw. Cola SmackDown, no. Jim Ross is raw. They should have stayed put. If they wanted to change the broadcasting teams, they should have put Foley and Lawler, switch those. Switching I Ross and Cole is a bad move for WWE and made way more drama than necessary. Jim Ross on his blog today says, I was this close to quitting WWE last night. What would that have done? Would it really have been worth the sacrifice of moving Jim Ross to SmackDown to have the best voice in the history of wrestling commentating? Quit your company because you felt like pulling his bud and getting him off the show just for no reason whatsoever? Bad move by WWE. You're saying no. You're saying no reason. You're moving to a new network now. Maybe they want to have this voice. Maybe they think this is the. Uh, this is. But the you voice just told me Michael Cole was the voice of SmackDown. He has been. Why yes. would they mess that up? Either? He has been. Because maybe you want Michael Cole to be your future announcer. Jim Ross, we've known for the past couple of years. It's always been teased on how much longer. How much longer does he want to do this? How much longer does he want to be on the road? How much longer does he want to work this schedule? So he they test him by doing something to piss him off so much he'll quit. Yeah. They may not have been working. You know. To, Bad uh, to get him to quit. This may have been a move uh, to go ahead and you know say to Michael Cole, "Hey, we think you might be you know the guy to take over the air apparent. This is, is when we want to make the move." And here's another thing we're forgetting: they didn't fire Jim Ross. They we're acting like he doesn't have a job. They moved him to another show. They didn't fire him. He is not going to be on network television. Michael He's Cole. Not fired. Michael He's Cole not on TNA. may statistically okay. I've only missed two shows, and in that respect, been more the voice of SmackDown. Then, Jr. <laughs> as Prince is getting distracted as I am. There's Tom Foolery. There's Tom Foolery happening on the camera. But Jr. Despite the fact he's missed more Raw shows than Cole missed SmackDown, Jr. Just personifies well, more. Like yeah. I'm not saying Michael Cole's a hack that he's not talented, but he's just not that that cool dude that no. you can relate well, to. Nobody likes Michael Cole. I'll respect him as a good announcer, but we? everybody no, everybody sits next to him and rips on his ass every time. The gay jokes, whatever else about him being a little Sally boy. No, no, no. That, that's Mike Adamley now. <laughs> that's Mike Adamley on a much grander scale. Now. Very quickly, True. we have to remember the reasons why Jim Ross missed time at Raw is because he had serious health issues. That is why he missed a lot of significant time on Monday Night Raw. If you think of big WWE and Raw moments, I, it I, is Jim Ross's voice. I He's think, narrating I do think it. it's, it's a diva it's, move it's, by Jim Ross to bitch about it, though. It is a diva move. You're still with WWE. You're on network television. You're on a big show that's moving to a new network. You don't get demoted. You get to work with a suit with a guy who's a three-time legend, and you still get to three time three legend. Three-time legend. They didn't, they didn't move. He lived three, three, three times, legend, maybe. Wow. Three, three times. Time, three-time legend. Three faces of Foley. Come on. Three yeah. faces of Foley. Three-time world champion. And another thing is, he didn't get pushed down to ECW. He wasn't demoted like <laughs> to the worst show. They're not. They're not having him do like heat on the website. You know what I mean? He, he's he's still a part of a big well, show. No, you know no, what? what all, all I know is I remember dozens upon dozens of Jim Ross calls. I don't remember one significant phrase out of Michael Cole's it, mouth on trainers, a SmackDown. Trainers, uh, EMTs, EMTs, Medic Zone. Transfer, <laughs> EMTs, that, move, that's the, the most influential Michael Cole. This yep. shows the trust that they have in Jim Ross too. They are trusting him yeah. to raise this this show to a new level. But they didn't tell him. That's not fair. Mm, yeah, sure. That, that is a weak move. Moving on, though. A lot of other big moves in the draft. 